Have you ever felt like you have been treading on the wrong path for quite some time? and that God is trying to make you follow his direction. Have you ever experienced a pleasant time, and then all of a sudden you felt a sense of dread come over you, or you heard a lyric of a song that interpreted exactly what you were feeling? Maybe yours could be that you keep coming across warning write-ups that spoke to you precisely what you needed to hear. Well, I want to tell you today without any iota of doubt that God is always speaking to us. But sometimes it can be very difficult for us to hear his voice, or we may hear the voice. But then, we find it difficult to understand that it is the voice of God, because of the so many voices in this world. God is love. He loves every one of his children, and so he will never allow any bad thing to happen to us. Most times when bad things want to happen to us, God sends us warnings in different ways. You need to understand that God wants only what is best for your life. And so you need to trust in God every day of your life. And most times, God uses even our feelings to warn us about things. Sometimes God uses our feelings to tell us that things are not right and to warn us of possible dangers. When you pay attention to most of your feelings, you will be able to understand that God is trying to warn you of possible dangers. In some cases, God uses our own dreams and thoughts to warn us about something or probably impending dangers. If you have ever had a recurring dream or even a disturbing thought about something for a long period of time, then just know that God is trying to tell you something. If you have ever experienced a sudden change over some aspect of your life, probably over your health, your character or any part of your life, then it could be a sign from God to warn you about impending danger or any other thing, or probably that God is trying to channel your life into a new direction. God uses warning signs to help us to know when we are veering off course. God does not mind bringing people into our lives and taking some people out of our lives to help us get back on track. God has, on different occasions, closed doors for so many people because he does not want us to involve ourselves with that particular thing. To warn us about something, God does not mind saying a big no to our requests, although we may have pleaded with God or asked him earnestly for a yes. God would not even mind if it is in alignment with his will. He will still have to say no to you just to show a sign that you are on the wrong track. At these points in time, we may feel very frustrated with ourselves or even God because things are not working out well for us. Sometimes we may actually continue with what we have been doing and ignore the signs we are getting. Perhaps we go through with what we have started, with full determination to achieve what we have in mind. Even though God forgives us most times for our disobedience, I am still certain that it would be much better for us to obey Him and follow His guidance. Maybe you are saying no to God right now, or you probably feel so scared of doing what God is commanding you to do. Well, at this point in time, I need you to always understand that God knows what's best for your life even better than you can ever comprehend. Draw head. God uses miraculous events to make us understand that He loves us and that he is always with us. Sometimes, God gives us an urgent feeling to make us aware of danger or to make us realize that we need to get things done at that point in time. Other times, God does not mind using our own unshakable belief about things, even without a need for evidence or proof. You know that sometimes you just get so confident about some things that you are very sure, even without evidence, that God is leading you towards a goal. Sometimes God gives us peace after we pray or study our Bible as a sign that God is trying to speak to us or give us a sign. It's a feeling of peace and tranquility you experience when you pray or study your Bible is a reassurance from God that you are on the right direction and that God is leading you on. Other times, God uses lyrics of songs to speak to our heart. God also uses specific verses of the scripture to speak to us. Whenever you feel as if God is trying to warn you about a particular event, then I need you to pay proper attention to it and never ignore any of God's warning signs to you. I want to let you know that it would do you more harm than good if you continue to ignore God's warning signs to you. It is of high importance that you listen and obey God, especially when He is warning you about anything because He knows your past, He is present with you, and He sees your future. That means he is well aware of what will happen to you 
so not listening to him might cost you so much more. The number one benefit of listening to God and doing exactly as he has asked you to do is that you will never regret obeying God. I know that there may be many signs that God uses to communicate with us that we still cannot properly and succinctly explain why they are there. But here is the thing. All these are important signs that God is trying to warn you about something. At some point in time, we must have all felt like God is trying to capture our imagination or even our attention. But then it is so unfortunate because we keep ignoring him. Well, here are six clear signs that God is speaking to you and that he is also warning you about impending danger or its vices. Sign 1. The first sign you should watch out for when God is trying to give you a warning is that verses of the scripture will keep ringing in your heart and then you will begin to experience different kinds of strange dreams that probably have the same. If you have ever experienced a moment when certain verses of the scriptures keep drawing your attention so hard that you always realize that you have gone back to reading that same verse over and over again, then you should know it is a clear sign that God is speaking to you through that verse. Remember, for the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. This is a clear proof that God's word is very much alive, and that by the help of the Holy Spirit, God's words can speak clearly to you. So if any portion of the Bible keeps impressing upon you repeatedly, then you need to pay more attention to it because God is passing a warning to you through that verse. Many of us can also testify to the fact that at one point in time, we have all experienced recurring dreams that seem to be pointing us to a specific direction. God used dreams to give the people of old a heads up of what will happen, and so he can also do the same in this dispensation. If you keep getting dreams that you cannot understand, then I am very certain that you need to talk to God about them so that he will grant you the understanding you need to comprehend the message he is passing to you. Sign 2. The second sign God is trying to warn you is that you may begin to recognize dangers through your common sense, probably by experiencing failure over a particular thing. God is good, and he has freely given us the ability to recognize red flags in our daily activities. God will always show you danger signs when you are doing what he does not want you to do or when you are in the wrong company. When you notice these red flags, the only advisable thing for you to do is to step away from such people or places. God may also continue to cause you to fail over a particular thing as a sign that he does not want you to engage yourself in those things. If you have been experiencing a problem for some time in your life now, then I think it would be much more advisable for you to ask God for help instead of blaming God for your pain. God will continue to allow you to pass through the same challenges until you have learned the lesson he is trying to communicate with you. Sign 3. Another sign God is trying to get your attention is that your heart may become hardened like that of Pharaoh in the Bible. And Pharaoh hardened his heart at this time also. Neither would he let the people go. Exodus chapter 8 verse 32. Unlike Pharaoh, we need to pray for God to help us so that we will not be so foolish enough to ignore the signs like how Pharaoh did. I think that so many of us miss this vital sign that God is using to communicate with us. We need to begin to pay proper attention to whatever God is giving to us so that we may not be destroyed like the Egyptians. Sign 4. The fourth sign God is trying to warn you about something is that you may even begin to feel physical discomfort. Unusual headache and other pains may be a sign that God is trying to warn you about something. If you have begun to feel very distant from God, then it is a sign that you do not know what is happening to you. Sign 5. Another possible sign we are likely to see when God is trying to warn us is that other believers may also begin to berate us when Christians around you, maybe your friends, families, or even members of your church, begin to see loopholes in your behaviors, then it is a sign that God is warning you about something. God has placed religious people in our lives to guide us on this journey called life. And it would do us more good to continue listening to them even when they begin to rebuke us. We should never get upset with them whenever they rebuke us about anything. 
because the fact that they are rebuking us is a clear sign that they know that what you are doing is not pleasant before God. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Proverbs 27 verse 5. People that are advising you are not doing so because they hate you. Rather, they are doing it because they love you and they want what is best for you. Sign 6. The last sign God uses to warn us is by making us unhappy about some particular things. Have you ever wondered if the unhappiness you are experiencing today is not really your major concern? Have you ever wondered why you are not swimming in joy even though that is what has been promised to you by God? Have you ever wondered if your unhappiness has been caused by God to gain your attention? Well, if your unhappiness is a sign God is trying to warn you, then you will continue to waste your time trying to make yourself happy because it is not the real problem. When you live the life people dictate for you and not the life God wants for you, then there will be no happiness for you. In conclusion, God warns us only because He loves us. Whenever you are being warned by God, just remember that God is trying to warn you because He loves you and He wants to protect you from evil. In conclusion, God warns us only because He loves us. Whenever you are being warned by God, just remember that God is trying to warn you because He loves you and He wants to protect you from evil. Let us pray. Thank you, dear God, because you are good and your mercies endure forever. We praise your name for how you have been helping us. Thank you for your guidance and protection which we continue to enjoy every day of our lives. We thank you for keeping us safe and for not allowing the plans of our enemies to find fulfillment in our lives. Dear God, words cannot genuinely convey our gratitude to you, and we say may your name be exalted forever and ever. Lord, we cannot deny the fact that we have fallen short of your glory in one way or the other. We know that we may have sinned against you by the words of our mouth or even by the thoughts of our hearts. We failed to see what you expect us to do, and then we find ourselves doing what you do not want us to do. Lord, we are very sorry and we pray that you will have mercy upon us. We pray that you will forgive us all of our sins and grant us grace to live a sinless life. Lord, we truly want to be holy, but our flesh is preventing us from being holy. We pray that you will bring our flesh under the subjection of your will for our lives. We pray that you will help us to continue to please you every day of our lives. And we ask that you help us to depopulate hell and bring more souls to your kingdom by your mercies. Lord, we cannot deny the fact that it is because of your mercies that we have not been consumed by the devil, our arch enemy. We thank you for your mercies and we pray that you will help us to continue to enjoy your mercies every day of our lives. We pray that you will help us to continue to enjoy your mercy. We pray for your forgiveness and we ask that you fill our hearts with your love and peace. Dear Lord, King of glory, Eternal Father, you know that this world is full of so great and many dangers and we are in the midst of it. We know that due to the fragility of our nature, we cannot always stand strong. So, dearest Father, we ask by the reason of your power that you grant us such strength and protection that will support us in times of danger. Please let us rest fully in your presence. Most gracious God, please grant our requests and fill our hearts with your grace. Help us to love you earnestly that we will always be shielded under your most graceful protection. Dear God, we know that you abhor the death of sinners, so please protect us with your glorious help that we may not fall into those exceptional temptations that are just too difficult to resist. Heavenly Father, please help us that in the fulfillment of your biddings, we will be strengthened by the aid of your grace. Please deliver us from various sins which attack us. Help us to not compromise our faith that we may always be pleasing in your sight and secure in your refuge. We ask that your loving leadership steer our path clear of danger and every stumbling block. Please grant us safe enactment for all our going out and coming in today. Dear God, you are our fortress and our shield. No one can take us away from you. There is none as omnipotent and invincible as you. In you, we put our full trust and confidence. Purify us with your word, for your word is truth. Sustain us from trauma and dissimulation. Preserve us from the fear of the enemy, from the arrow that flies by day and the fearsome pestilence. Keep us from the trouble that walks in the darkness and give us eternal life in Christ Jesus. 
our Lord, love, and Savior. Dear God, we pray that you will fill us with your love and your peace. We ask that you will guide and protect us every day of our lives. We cannot help feeling lost and confused, and we constantly need your help every day of our lives. We ask that you will please help us. Open our hearts to the direction you want us to follow and open our eyes to see the things you want us to see. We pray that you will continue to show us wise decisions that will make us become better people. Grant us grace to do good things that will continue to draw us closer to you. We pray that you will please fill us with your strength and courage so that we will be able to stay with you. We pray that you will fill us with your truth and your grace so that our life will continue to radiate your love and your peace. Lord, we thank you because you have been protecting us. We ask that you will help us to follow your direction and you will keep us with you. Thank you for your love and your grace. We pray that you will help us to rely upon your grace, even as we begin to take steps towards your purpose for our lives. We pray that you will continue to fill us with your knowledge and goodness. We pray that you will fill us with your wisdom whenever we want to make any decisions. We ask that you will help us to make decisions according to your wisdom. Dear God, we pray that you will help us to understand the signs that you continue showing to us. We pray that you will help us not to be ignorant of your signs. We ask that you will help us to be able to discern when you are speaking to us in Jesus' name. We pray that you will help us to understand when you are talking to us so that we will continue to please you every day of our lives. Thank you, dear God, because we can come before your throne of mercies to ask for anything. We love you because we are confident that you have granted us more than we have asked of you, for it is in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Please share your thoughts with us. We want to hear from you. Like and share this message so it can get to more people. Do not forget to also subscribe. God bless you as you learn how to understand the signs that God is using to warn you.